That's where we'll begin with New South Wales Senator and Deputy Nationals Leader Perrin Davey, who joins us live. Thank you for your time. So what are people telling you who do have concerns about the nuclear plan? plan? Obviously not everyone loves it. What are the concerns being expressed to you and how do you assuage them? Oh, well, I mean, clearly uh, the key concern is a lot of people are hearing from the government that Australia is uh, not suitable for nuclear and nuclear is the wrong energy balance for Australia. But uh, when you point out that the rest of the world are moving towards nuclear. Remember, it was just COP28 in December last year when 22 nations, including Britain, Canada, the US, all signed up to triple the generation of nuclear power. Uh, when nuclear is increasingly becoming accepted as part of a balanced energy mix for a carbon neutral future, uh, people sort of scratch their heads and go, well, why isn't Australia going there? Remember, we're not starting from scratch. We already have a nuclear industry. We've had a nuclear reactor since the late 50s. Um, so, you know, people are starting to open their eyes to the misinformation that the Labor government is spreading. I mean, in terms of seven power plants and, and ones to actually power the nation, we are starting from scratch, really. That Lucas Heights reactor isn't... You know, it's not like we have a, a workforce of hundreds or thousands to get that done. Saudi Arabia uh, is the country that's done this fastest. 12 years go to woe. We'll never be that fast, will we, with rules and regulations we have. So it's going to be longer than that. Isn't that the biggest question mark? Basically, every expert agrees getting this done in the time frame is going to be really difficult. Well, Saudi Arabia go to woe, yes. Uh, they did it fast. They do have a different system of government, that's true. But they also had nothing. They had no nuclear industry. They had no nuclear regulations. We already have uh, very co comprehensive nuclear safety regulations here in Australia. We have a nuclear industry. We've got the Australian Nuclear Science Technology Organisation. So we're not starting from a complete scratch. You know, once upon a time, we didn't have any renewables industry. We didn't have wind turbines. We didn't have industrial scale solar panels. And yet no one was there saying, well, you can't do it be because we don't have it. We have to start somewhere and the time to start is now. Um, you did say on Sky News initially when this policy came out of communities, don't want nuclear power plants, they won't get them. Peter Dutton says they will. Was that a, a surprise to you? Was that not made clear when the, the policy was being discussed? No, I think what I was talking about is we are taking this policy to the election. It will be up to the electorate to decide. Uh, we are going to be very much in those communities that we've identified, talking to them, hmm. consulting with them, talking about what their concerns are, showing them what the opportunities are, looking at what future they want for their communities and working with them. Uh, we, we firmly okay, believe so, so that most of those communities, that all of those communities will get on board. So those communities, when you say um, it'll be up to them at the election, if you form government but one of the electorates where there's a nuclear power... Um, station that's been proposed. No, no, I said we are taking it to the election. We are taking it to the election. The Australian community will decide and we will then right. establish so, so community yeah, so consultation Let me ask my question then. So if the, the Dutton government forms... Identified. If the Dutton opposition forms government but um, the electorate where there's a, a proposed nuclear-fired power station, nuclear-powered station uh, there votes against whatever a nationals candidate has voted out, for example, that won't matter, they, you'll still build one there? Uh, we, we firmly believe that these communities, when they talk to us, when we mm. establish the community consultation partnership, when we undertake the te detailed technical analysis, uh, we, we're confident that we will have the support of the communities. OK, but just clarifying, if they, in that situation, if they're voting the local... Pay vote on a vast out. range of reasons. So yeah, but that's not uh, the question, Senator. I'm just asking what, what their so, vote will mean in yeah, that scenario. Well, people vote on a vast range of reasons, and that's why we will be forming community consultation partnerships in those communities 
to walk them through mm. what our plans are, to hear from them what their concerns are, to hear from them what they believe the opportunities are, and to look at how we can frame a positive future for them. Right, but just again trying to clarify that situation. Peter Dutton's Prime Minister, you formed government, I... a local Nat's been voted out of a seat where there was a nuclear uh, power plant. Pretty big issue, you'd think, in that seat. Would you say, oh, well, the, the people have spoken, we'll, we'll build one elsewhere? I, I, no, I, I, would not, I would not say that at all because people vote on a vast range of issues, particularly at a federal election. Mm. And so you can't pick one policy avenue. I mean, uh, you know, you could do that on so many areas of, of policy and politics. Peter Dutton and it called it a referendum. That's what he said. Any government... That's not talking about well, a vast he, and number we of policies. Were, we are taking it to the... We are taking it to the Australian populace, the whole of the Australian community, and asking them to support this policy and our whole suite of policies that we will be taking to the next federal election, whenever that may be called. Peter Dutton, popular in New South Wales, that the news poll suggests you're going OK there? Well, the news poll uh, did have some reassuring results, but as every politician says every time, uh, the only poll that really matters is the poll on polling day. But what this news poll also shows, really interestingly, is that Labor's track record of broken promises and homegrown in grown inflation is starting to have an impact. People are now starting to ask themselves if they really are better <coughs> off under Albanese, and it's clear that they think the answer is no particularly in Queensland and New South Wales, according to this news poll. Perrin Davey, appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you very much.